Hello everyone. Thank you for joining in. Just wanted to show you this case here. I have a few minutes. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this upper denture here and I'll do the posterior lowers as well. Um, I will not finish it. I will just do that because I don't have a lot of time and I got a very busy schedule today. So uh, I didn't forget about you, just been busy. So thank you for joining. Okay, so we took compression of the patient here. And uh, what we did is we took the measurements of the old denture, it was on this. And then what we did is that we marked the center line right here and uh, the horizontal line here. And what we do is that we measure it from the old denture and then we mark it on here. So what we did here now is that we have all the marks we need. I know how much support is needed looking at the patient and also looking at where the lower denture is and how those implants are. Oh, wow, Haiti, Ireland. Thank you. ممكن تتكلم عربي راح اتكلم عربي و انجليزي ميكس I'll be speaking two languages at the same time and I'll try to remember both at the same time so yes um, these are actually are the marks that we have from the old denture and that's how it's gonna do so okay let's get going because I don't have time first of all أول شيء راح نحط الشمع بيس بليت يا بحكي عربي بس انطوني مجال يعني احكي عربي وانجليزي واطلع على الموبايل وعلى الشغل هي عراق يا بحكي Okay, so the Mujar Shamat, this is only wax here. Going on the base plate. Just make sure we adapt it well. Hot the shamar nana. Have you Islam Rasek? Okay, so this is done. Now what I like to do, add some thickness to the base. wax rim. So these wax rims are not the actual wax rims that you do in school and you would actually look for all the dimensions and everything. This is just so I can put the teeth on. Okay, now in Arabic. هاي العضة الشمعية مو نفس العضة الشمعية من المدارس اللي لازم بيها قياسات وأبعاد. هاي مجرد عضة شمعية حتى ثبت عليها الأسنان فتكون يعني مرعبلة. Good luck. ويا كلمة مرعبلة. I somewhat son. You also make custom trays or someone else does them. We do everything here in the lab. There you go. That's can call it a bite block. Okay, now the best part, setting the teeth. So I have those teeth here that we selected for the patient and they love them. And you'll see here that what I'm using is a caliper to mark where my 
denture is, the old denture I mean, and the teeth in it. Okay, so it goes to about here. So what I need to do is center line, watching the center line always. Okay, so now we have the center line lined up and we have the support almost there. Now we watch for, how is that gonna line up with the lower? Okay, now in Arabic. فحطينا العلامات هنا على الكاست حطينا هذا الكالبر قياس اللي من من الدنشر القديم يوصل لهنا تقريبا حطيت السن ويا السنتر لاين وحطيت هذول الكاليبرز حتى على مود القياس طلع مضبوط وبعدين اشوف صفح يبين اذا انا طالع كلش لو لا حد يسالني شو لهم كلش ولا غير احكي بالعراقي and now it's all easy So we show a curve on the moody vein. Let me just adjust that. good just a few more adjustments here because this is where you spend most of your time that's the most important part so it's okay to take a little bit of time here and then it's all easy So based on the information that I have, this patient is female. So the reason that we check for those is that you want to give feminine look to a female patient and you want masculine looks, and of course, based on what they want. So with this here is a female patient. So I'll be looking at that here, that uh, lateral flare and uh, also based on age, so. طبعا هنا أنا ننتبه على إنه المريض إذا رجال أو مرة يعني ال arrangement شوية يختلف بالنسبة للرجال والمرة نحط مرات هذا ال شو يسموها الرباعية هذا السن للمرة شوية يختلف يكون بي يعني حركة حلوة وأيضا العمر يعني هو إذا الشاب يختلف تختلف أسنانه عن الكبير بالعمر My problem is the left side because I'm right handed so I like to work upside down when it's the left side
الأستاذ يا رقم تليفون وين قاعدين؟ مرة انطيت رقم تليفوني الطالب وتورطت يا يعني مساعدتها طشت الرقم اضطريت غير الرقم شوي هذا عالي السن اوكي شوين انا باردة بكندا فتصير الشمع بسرعة يجمد ما تشد تشتغل بالعراق لو بسوريا يظل ساعة ما كدا يحمي So we all know how the canine sits on about like 15 degrees kind of tilt and not excessive just a little bit you can see the main axis going straight line like this not like this, not like the central or the lateral it goes like this. So that's what gives those natural looks. Nab, يكون دائما شوي في ميلان تقريبا خمسة عشر أو أقل درجة عن الأكسس ما تلمحور. فينطي منظر طبيعي. لا تبالغون بهذا الموضوع حتى لا يصير. تشوفون إن المحور ما تشوي يصير هيك موت البقية. خط عدل ودائما اشتغل برا الارتيكليتر ورجع حتى نتاكد انه ما عندنا شيء طافر يمنا يسرى I always like to check the work on the articulator so I take it on and off 10,000 times a day See, this is a little too much, so that will look bad. Make sure they look the same. You look at it that way as well. The same. If it looks good upside down, guarantee it will look good when it's in the right way. Okay, so six interiors done right here. You can see that they're uh, leveled. And what I'm looking at here, I don't know if you can see with my fingers in the way. Um, what I'm looking at is how straight they are compared to the retromolar pads here. Because I know where the, the plane is going to be of the occlusion. Okay, so now this is good. I like to seal it in place so I don't have them moving around on me. مالها اسم بالعربي شو نسميها العاد ما يسموه ال heels retro molar pad نسميها شعب ما انه heels يعني شعب اوكي فمثل ما قلت لكم هنا انا اكو شويه يعني خفيفه منها بعدين راح ازيد سماكتها بس هاي هسه هيك بس صبر نفسنا بيها this is just to add temporary thickness while I'm working on it so it doesn't distort. حسب دراستك حسب من أي دولة كل دولة تختلف أنا أتذكر بسوريا ما عندهم كلمة بالإنجليزي كلها يستعملون عربي يعني بربك الرج يسموه سنخ ما بعرف شو يسموه الله يقبلها 
هسه نبلش ال posteriors اشوفكم ان شاء الله هنا انا بس تضبط اول سن البقيه كلها تصير سهل اوكي سو ناو وي ار سيتنج ذا posteriors Make sure you share this video with your classmates and whoever can, because I will not save this video. This is just a quick video. Okay, so two things we have to look at here is where the ridge is and how it is going to line up with the lowers. Always keep in your mind the lowers. So now I know it's on top of this. It's not off. It's not gonna be too much the outside. And I need to make it a little straighter. Shoot on the upper ridge. No table for your orientation. No, you have your eyes. That's your best table. Because I can look straight from where I'm sitting right now. Probably you can't see it. I'm seeing where the retromolar pad is going to be and where I want my plane of occlusion is. So I was doing some counting of how many cases I've done the other day. In four years, I found out that I made 3,000 dentures, which is not a lot. I thought it would be more. That's just at work, in a job, not from school. To think about it, it's crazy. No, that stream will not be uploaded for many reasons. First, it's uh, different from my other videos that I post. And uh, when I post it, the questions does not show up. And I sound like an idiot just looking to myself. The other thing is, um, I know I can do the live chat thing. The other thing is the music in the background, you can hear it. I cannot post that because YouTube will ban it. I had videos removed because of copyrights. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I told you after you set the first tooth where it is exactly, then you know how to follow with these teeth here. What I'm doing is make sure they're all in a straight line. I make sure from this way all the cusps are the same line and when you put it back on it's guaranteed it's gonna be good in school I don't think you can do that you'll have to do it a little differently because they require lots of things but once you're on your own that's when you thrive with the lack of supervision Perfect balance, it's a trying case, so what do you expect? Balancing comes at the end. Uh, and you notice a little thing here. Um, I do a little curve because of where the retromolar pad is coming up. I don't want it to be straight and then the tooth will have to start from here. What's the best thing to tell a dentist when having a denture made to get the best result for prominent canine like my regular teeth. I don't think I understand what you mean. Lo siento, solo rebes en inglés todavía. My uh, Spanish is not very good to start speaking, but I'm learning. Okay, 
Now this side is good. We'll go to the other side. How are we doing on time? 20 minutes? That's taking too slow. Yes, we can use tables and I do have a template and a setup plane that I can use on balanced occlusion cases, but we have different cases. This case is a regular one. Calibrated cases, we charge differently for those ones. And we take everything differently, like the impressions, the transfer of the bite. This one here is just a try -in. So symmetry is important when the patient has symmetrical features. You will notice like in some patients, one sign is lower than the other or such so. Alaikum salam, Kazakhstan, I think I read. Kazakhstan, yeah, thank you. Talam Fransawi. Gracias, Javier. One of those wax spatulas that you use. I will be given a free one very soon, actually. I have a free giveaway coming up on my Instagram. But you know what? You'll have to be a YouTube subscriber to my channel before you can get it. That's the catch. It costs a lot of money to buy the stuff and ship them internationally. Gotta make it worth it. So same thing goes on that side, making the teeth straight, the cusper straight, and the line, and also check on the articulator, and you'll see. Never mind, that phone is ringing at lunch break. So you see that it's on the ridge, right on the line, and. Uh, It will go to voicemail, so. Ahli al-Iraq, I am Jayin. I am going to say, 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 I am going to So I start to kind of start my curve right here. That's when the curve starts to be initiated. See, that wax gets cold so quick. It's very cold here. Even inside the building. So you see here what I did. <laughs> That's the first time I hear someone is impressed with the Arabic language. Usually they said it sounds like you're fighting. So you see here, I don't know if you can notice it, but here and then it went up a little bit. Just a little, not crazy. And that will give you that natural curve and also an easy setup on the lowers. So now the upper is set. You can see flat lines on the ridge, looking good. Those canines may look like that to you, but once they're in the mouth, they will look less aggressive. Now I'm gonna seal this in place and I'll do the lower quickly. Just the posteriors, because the anterior is gonna need a lot of trimming with the implants.
How is uh, the COVID situation in your guys' countries? I know Canada is doing very bad. I'm gonna do show you this cool trick mm, really really bad where is that India I know India is very bad now lab work is slow yeah lab work actually has been very busy here that's why I was away for a few week for a few days just for a week Poland could be better. Oh, you're from Poland. I know one bad word in Polish. Just like anyone who's trying to learn a new language, first you learn the bad words. So with this here, I like to heat it up, not too much, that it actually start. well, see here, I heat it up too much, that it's white. Yes. Kurva match. <laughs> oh, too late, said it. Don't worry, YouTube is English. So you heat it up to just the right temperature that you can play it like that and manipulate the wax without cutting it or delaminating it. It's like putty now. That's when you get the right temperature on. If it's too hot, you press and it will just tear. Not good in Turkey. Oh, Turkey. I was in Turkey. <laughs> Hola Brazil How long does it take for you to arrange all the teeth? Ah, it would take about 20 minutes for upper and lower But because now I'm just talking and looking at the screen It takes longer than that Yusuf Haji, what's up? Kunal Singh, hi it was the situation in your country. Okay, so that's a base plate. There you go. I'm gonna see how much space I'm gonna be needing. Probably not much. Maybe that tooth a little crooked. I used to watch your videos during my second year practice. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like hearing that. Because that's my main goal when I started my channel. It's just to share the knowledge with everybody. With the occasional flexing. Which is natural, human thing. Okay, so probably don't need that much here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of wax. And that's your setup. Wax bite. Because when I looked at it that way, see, it's a little too close. So I'm gonna put it all together. I don't know what that person is uh, typing. It's got restricted message, but I'll look into it. And if it's a bad thing, I'm gonna block them. That's how we roll. Take your negative shit away. Kyrgyzstan. Oh, nice.
GTP production. It's going good. Okay, a key uh, key thing here. So this is a lower. You see here, we have those three, three cusps. We have two lines, and we have three buckle cusps. And you look at the upper, and you see two. So when I'm setting the teeth here, what I like to do, which is how that type of tooth and mold should be set, is those three comes right in the middle of those two right here. And then when they slide, they'll be in balance. So you can't have them like this, you can't have them back here. It has to be right here. And that's... Make sure what is it? It's right here. And there. That's where it should be. A little tweaking, of course, is needed. And then it should be right in place. Double check and then you check this way as well. Oh, it's up all the time. Fins up, baby. Okay, this is one side. I'm gonna do the other side. What are you saying? Aren't there chances of distortion if uses weight? No, this wax will be actually very rigid once it's thick enough. Uh, where is this being filmed? Canada. Can you save this video? No, it will not be saved. I just mentioned why, so sorry. But you will see lots of videos like this on my channel. This one is just live so I can talk to you guys and answer some of your questions. Like that. See where it's sitting? Those two cusps will line in those two lines here. Which is your favorite part of your job? Everything about it. You can't have a favorite part and hate the others. Unless you work in a station work, which is... Some labs do that one technician will be only doing trimming, one will be only doing waxing, which I don't like. You have to be all around and that's how I always work starting from the back and come to the front if everything is in a place you will have the exact space for the interior lowers so we don't have to worry about that this one here Oh, wait a minute, I got this backward. So the second premolar will be sitting right between those two here. So you see here, it goes like that, exactly in the middle. No, I don't. I uh, see the patients sometimes. I see just for aesthetics, but I will not operate on them in any way. Okay, that's this side. Why did you start with the molars? I mentioned why.
Um, the wax is always used. I can't really say that kind of wax because it's kind of homemade slash special order. And I don't want to advertise for them. This needs rotation a little bit. I'll do that in the tweaking after. The diastema, we ask the patient, do you want a gap in your teeth or not? If they have one in the old denture, we make it. If they have one in their natural teeth and they removed it, we make it if they want. And it goes like that. There is your molar here. premolar and the other premolar is here and we're almost done so while I'm working I want to thank you guys for joining me just make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on next time I go uh, live and also stay tuned for that giveaway it's gonna be really worth it and a good one And if I missed your question, if you type something and I didn't look or didn't read it, I apologize. You can uh, definitely send me a message or leave a comment on any of my videos. I get back to everyone when I have the time. So, um, or my, if you have my Instagram, you can contact me there. there's nothing oh thank you and I'll sing appreciate it see that curve Ooh, that worked beautifully You'll notice that when you set the last premolar here, uh, last molar, you will have a little bit of kind of like tilt, which works perfectly on a balance occlusion with these type of teeth. So I'm not talking about whole teeth because some things work differently than other things. And the last one here. Oh, that tooth is stuck in the card. Before I go away, I'll make sure I read your comments or whatever. We'll see if there's anything I missed. Always make sure you heat up the wax right next to the tooth that you set before so it does not move when you're pressing or anything. If anything going to give in it would be just the wax oh I think we're gonna need a trim here yep so that tooth here see it's hitting in that area here so what I'm gonna do just a quick trim so it's probably hitting like in that area here always something oh absolutely Dean Hannah thank you for watching man
So there you have it. That's uh, setting up an upper and a lower. Then you put the anteriors here based on the space that you have. You pick the correspondent teeth and then you'll see how much space you have with something like that. So I'll need something like around the 40 millimeters on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, that slap is, oh, you know, it's good. So um, yeah, there you have it. That's setting up a lower and an upper. And uh, thank you for joining me. If you have any question, you can always send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment on um, one of my videos and I'll get to it. Okay, I'm just reading the last comments here. Specialized in making dentures, we make compressions and all. Right on. Do you use glass plate at the end? Glass plate? What do you mean? Because uh, I'm just moving that one here. Do you mean uh, like a flat plane? So now I can remove this. The wax is still, just don't press too hard. I'm just gonna do a little side to side. Everything is touching. And then some tweaking will be needed once you add the anteriors because you will have the canines of the lower that will also determine the sliding and lateral excursions. Yes, insurance companies in Canada cover dentures only and probably extractions, but nothing. No, I'm not from the USA. Shukran Mushtaba. Okay, thank you everybody and uh, make sure you check out some of my videos that I have there and uh, stay tuned for that good uh, giveaway that I'm going to be giving some some merch, some uh, waxing tools, and some stickers, and it's gonna be really nice. And uh, it's mostly for people who are actually already subscribed or are going to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, thank you all and have a good day. Stay safe out there.